when you enter the world of Francois Payard, right here on Lexington Avenue at the Payard Patisserie and Bistro, you enter a very special world full of the most delectable pastries, the most delectable sandwiches, and probably the most delectable bistro snacks anywhere in New York City. Much more coming up. Francois is going to show us how he makes these light and fluffy and delectable and sugar-coated raspberry-filled or pastry cream-filled donuts. Now, it's kind of incongruous that here at your fine, fine pastry shop, you are selling the best Donuts. We don't call them donuts in France. We call them <laughs> beignets, we call them boule de Berlin. They come from Alsace Lorraine next to Germany. It's for that we call that boule de Berlin. But the basis for these donuts is brioche? Exactly, it's like a brioche. Mm. It can be uh, flavored with orange uh, blossom, rum, whatever you can find, a little bit of orange zest. Everything with flavor, you know, get uh, go very well with the brioche. What we need, we need 250 grams of, of flour. 250 grams? Yeah, exactly. Voilà. Now we have okay. the sugar. And we Alors need the sugar is 20 grams. 20 grams. Oh, it's normally it's like, a, like a tablespoon, you know. You see? A tablespoon oh, exactly. is 20 grams. And two tablespoons, too, with a dry milk powder. The salt is very important to use a good one. Because sometimes we get we used to using a cheap salt, and you have to put too much of it to forget the flavor. Alors we use a Frenchy salt, you know. A pinch of it is enough. After we made everything, to the bowl, see, into the mixer. You can okay. place in the mixer. And you're using the dough hook? Exactly. Okay. Over here, I may crack the, two, crack the two eggs. I put all the dry ingredients into the bowl. What's left over is all the liquid ingredients, the eggs, the rum, and the yeast. Let me see, 10 grams. Mm, I love cake yeast. And exactly, that's the real one, is a fresh yeast, you know. If you don't find fresh yeast, you can use dry yeast. But in the kitchen, we use mostly fresh one, you know. We have a grated lemon. Alors, we just want to take the yellow part. We don't want the white part. If you don't have lemon, you can use orange, because we use orange blossom. You can use every kind of citrus. We have all the lemon zest we place into the bowl, too. Okay. Voila. And we mix it for how long? For like 10 minutes, just to give elasticity to the dough. Okay. Voilà. Right. Alors, we may add, we have all the dry ingredients. We may add the two eggs. We may add the fresh yeast. Uh, you see? Now, we can add the rum. 25 grams of rum. Okay, that can be rum or orange blossom water. Orange blossom. If you don't have rum, use Grand Marnier. Every flavor you want, you know? Sometimes you have to add a little bit of water. But anyway, that's a little technique, you know, you, you get used to. And you can see by the consistency of the dough. Because you don't want it to be too dry. Exactly, voila. You see now? It's starting to... It's starting to come up from the side yes. of the bowl. Now, I may wet my butter, 60 grams of butter. You see, for once, we don't use too much butter in the recipe. Now, you see the butter is room temperature, 60 grams. That's exactly. it. But you know, you have to wait to the point or everything gets smooth. It may take like two minutes normally. Little by little, don't worry, the butter incorporated to the dough. You can see now. Oh, it's yes. picking up oh, all the sides yes. of the bowl. You see now it's almost ready. What you do? You see, you just add a little flour. And that's it. That's it. Now it removed from the kitchenette. Mm -hmm. What we do now, we just place a little bit of flour on the table to make sure. You see, all the dough is nice, it's smooth. And now we place back into the bowl with a little tower, you know, a little dry tower, and you may let proof for like an hour. Okay, so let it just rest. Exactly, for one hour. Room temperature, you let it on the side. Okay, but I think we have one already, right there? Yes. yes. I have one already made, you see, the tower. And oh, you see, look, look it, it look. double of volume. Normally, it's supposed to double of volume. I mean, it takes enough time. Sometimes it can be like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depend how warm is your kitchen. We sprinkle some flour on the table, and you, Press it down, look at that. Mm. It's all fluffy, it's all air. And you see, now you fold edge of the dough. In half. Exactly, and that's it. And now you cool down for like an half an hour in the refrigerator, and then this can be easy to roll out. Okay. Uh, and here, Francois. Thank you. A cold one. It's very cold? Yeah. Yes. Just good enough. And now what we do, we just sprinkle some flour on the table, and we may use a rolling pan and we start to roll out the dough. And you see, you just want to roll the dough. Alors, quarter of each stick. 
You know, the thing, the problem, people are always using... A quarter using, of an inch. ...using too much flour. Flour is not too good for the dough. It toughens it. Exactly. And you know, it changes the color of the products. It loses its beautiful golden color. And you know, it doesn't stick to the table anyway. We don't need so much flour. You see? Lovely. Oh, you have to make sure it's even everywhere. Yeah, you can cut them. The dough is wonderful. It works so well. So we have nine donuts. Nine to ten, you can. Yeah. Have. Cover them with cloth and let them rest proof for one hour. In the fridge? In the, no, in the room oh. temperature. Oh, okay, room temperature. Oh, and you have some already risen. Exactly. I see in your linen cloth, which yes. I love. Oh, you see this one, they proof like an hour between the cloth, too. <gasps> Look you how see? round and, and gorgeous. And the things, they're nice and delicate. You can see that it's very light. Oh, they are. Alors now we may, we may fry them. Okay. Alors the oil, 160 degrees. We don't want the oil too hot. And you may place them very gentle in the oil. And you see, if the oil be too, too hot, you know, they may never have time enough to cook in the center. Normally, it takes like between three to five minutes to cook them. Depends how big, how big they are. And while they're hot, you roll them in the sugar? Exactly. One by one, on both sides. You know, if you just pick up enough of the sugar, you don't want it to be too sweet, too. So roll them first, then fill them. Exactly. To do that, we just make a little hole in the center, and you try to go through the other side. Then it's when you stuff them, you know, you go, you stuff all the way through the donuts. Oh, well, I'll do this one with the vanilla pastry cream. Exactly. Because I haven't tasted that yet. Both of them, they're very good. Uh, kids love the jelly, but I like myself the pastry cream. You can see when you cut them, mm. the whole dough is cooked and just enough jelly in the middle. I don't want this cut. I want the whole thing. Look how good. You send me a bite? Mmm. <laughs> Many of our viewers...